What began as a traffic stop ended in a deadly police shooting. Chicago police saying tonight that Garfield Rommel King was shot because he was using his car as a weapon when he rammed into two squad cars. King's family have many questions about how he died. Good evening, everyone. Police are saying that three officers were injured when King rammed their squad cars. The shooting took place near the intersection of 91st Street and Halstead early this morning. ABC 7's Karen Jordan joining us live now at police headquarters with more. Karen? Well, Alan, police say two weapons and drugs were recovered at the scene. The Independent Police Review Authority is investigating this police-involved shooting. Witnesses say they heard anywhere between 20 to 50 gunshots. The corner of 91st and Emerald remains a gathering place for residents of the neighborhood who are still talking about the police-involved fatal shooting there overnight of 32-year-old Garfield Ramel King. It's pretty quiet over here, and so that was something. All the neighbors came out of my, they were checking on each other, make sure we're safe and everything. So that was really just something out of the ordinary. The quiet was shattered after midnight when police fired dozens of shots at King's car. He was being chased by police following a traffic violation. Police say the chase ended near King's home at 91st and South Emerald when King's car struck a squad car assisting in the pursuit. The impact injured two officers and caused King's car to catch fire. Then police say King put the car in reverse and pinned another officer between vehicles. It was then, police say, that officers, in fear of their lives, fired shots at King's car. King's family confirms that he was still inside. King was killed and his 19-year-old girlfriend, who was in the front seat, was injured. Today, Police Superintendent Jody Weiss says the case is still dead. under investigation. Um, when we have individuals trying to murder police officers by using their vehicle, putting the police officers in harm's way, um, that's a very real danger to everybody, not only to the police department, but also to the community. Meanwhile, King's family is grieving. They say that he was trying to improve his life, but they admit he was driving on a suspended license. Didn't deserve to be shot, never. No. No, he didn't, and it's killing me inside. He had his problems, some, you know, with the police before sometimes, but it wasn't nothing real serious for them to shoot him down like a dog like that. Now, the three officers injured are expected to be okay. Along with King's girlfriend, there were two other people in the back seat. Those three people have been questioned by police and released. No charges have been filed. At 35th in Michigan, Karen Jordan, ABC 7 News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Karen, thank you. Federal